Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's uh, Wednesday and I'm uploading a video, partially because I'm gone Saturday, I'm not sure if I'm going to so there may be two videos tomorrow. And, uh, have a general idea for this episode, but no actual way of saying it. So welcome to uh, another episode where I am winging it, saying whatever I can think comes to mind based on this topic and if you find me fiddling with stuff it's because there's stuff new where I am. So it's Walton week. <sighs> this one's more difficult to prepare for because the lesson of the prairie I kind of have that in my mind by memory because I've seen all nine seasons and movies. How to New Dragon still fresh in my mind. Heartland I'm currently watching that right rewatching that right now and Road to Avonlea I'm currently rewatching it right now. I was rewatching Walden's, but I haven't gone to season 8 yet, so it's not in my mind, so I'm not really thinking about it, so it's hard to find video ideas for it. Kind of like The House on the Prairie a bit. Okay, so, episode I am going to try and do today is Should Ben Have Married Cindy? A little bit of a weird topic I was exploring, maybe what if he died, you see the black sheep of the family, I don't know. So I went with the, what if, should he have married Cindy? Now, we do know he has lots of girlfriends. <sighs> Darlene Jarvis and that Nancy one or whatever. And we do know that in season seven, he's dating Cindy. He eventually, they eventually elope to like Maryland or something because you don't have to be 21 there because Ben's like 20 when he gets married. So, now what would have happened if he had married Cindy? Probably not much. He probably would have continued to work in the service. Oh, not in the service, but at the mail. He would have signed up a lot quicker. Probably like after, oh, actually, before... By the end of season eight, Tessie season seven probably like with like Jason because he doesn't have Cindy, and then season eight, Virginia. Because he does sign up though after Virginia is born, though that is true. And then um, that is pretty much it. He much not much would have changed. So should he have married Cindy? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so what if would Ben's life have changed if he had if he had married Cindy? Probably not. It would have been probably not. Cindy just wouldn't be in the picture, and he'd probably still be living in the house, not the shed. Should he have married Cindy? Now, he did elope, and that is not illegal. Eloping is legal, and we do know that the Waldens have quite a bit of history eloping. Um. John and Olivia eloped. Aaron almost eloped with Chad. That's pretty much it for eloping everybody else. The wines that we saw were married, which is Aaron and John Wayne. So, should he have married Cindy? Of course, when he brings Cindy home, everybody kind of looks at him like, Okay. Of course, they are a little shocked. And, um, yeah, and all I pretty much know for is that she drives a red convertible, which in those days was one of those cars that the rich, fancy, and in the, in the Walden's snobby and stuck up people had. And that's how they assume... Oh, sorry. My phone's connected to my charger and I hit it, it goes down. That's how they assume Cindy is. They assume Cindy is more is kind of a stuck up person, but as they meet, as they learn to meet as they get to know Sydney I get those names confused all the time. Cindy 
they realize that she's actually not that bad. She's much better. She's a nice, she's not what they thought she was. She's not stuck up. She's not snobby. She, I mean, of Walt's can be at times, so. Actually, well, they can all be stubborn and not stuck up and we're snobby, but. So, and they actually go to like her. So, in the end, would his life have changed if he hadn't married if Cindy? No. Should he have married Cindy? Oh, that's an opinion, you know, based on everything they went through, you know, the the Pearl Harbor thing, um, that season was just all sad, so everything that happened in that season, Livia leaving, Grandpa dying, who, um, and then the whole, um, oh, what is it, oh, and Ben made Ben seem to come quite a surprise, um, That's mostly all your opinion, and you know, maybe you don't like that Ben married Cindy. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video, and Jasmine, there you go, you got your Walton content. If you guys don't know, uh, Jasmine C commented on, oh, uh, was, I think it was one of my, oh no, it was, um, my one video on, uh, Kurt, on what if, on you should have just stayed dead, she asked for more Walton content. And then I explained to you in, I think, it was Fish Legs Ingerman versus Fish Legs No Name or something like that. Um, that I have a schedule and I go by that. I go How to Win a Dragon, Heart Bound, Little House on the Prairie, Down with the Waltons. So I'm sorry you had to wait those five. I, I'm sorry you had to wait these five weeks, but you got it. So don't be angry. So um, comment down below. Let me know if you guys know how to make playlists public because I kind of I kind of want to know that because I have playlists made but they're not public. Uh, like this video, um, subscribe, share this with your friends because my videos are awesome. And if you are passionate about these shows like I am, and maybe your friends are too, then they can join this passion thing we have going on because I'm bored. I have two subscribers. Well. I don't want to get big like, you know, a million like those guys, but at least 10 is all I'm asking for. Come on, guys, 10 subscribers. And can I please get more than just one view? But I appreciate that. That one viewer, okay, that one viewer, okay, you, you're the one only person viewing my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, see you.